Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are in Fallout 4, back at the Dugout Inn. And you may be wondering why this screen is open. It's because I need to load the save game because the event triggered because of the time. I forgot about it. I was going to come in here to wait, and then Look, I don't want to be whatever. Trouble. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that. <laughs> yeah! I'm just... I'm, I'm only here for a drink. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> hey there, pal. Can you, just, can you just leave me alone? Oh, it's you. You need to grow a spine, pal. I, I didn't ask for this. I'm just trying to have a drink. I don't... I have no idea... What I did to deserve this! I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. Um, okay. That's... well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me he alone. He sounds so drunk. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, Need new clothes? I mean it. Should stop by Leave Fallon's basement. Sounds Open like you were thinking day. about saying, or else. Were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, uh, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you, and your friend here. This is such a bad idea. Bullshit. This is bullshit, man. Punched him to death. Can I bat him with it? Because I'm lazy. Kicking his ass. Travis. Whoa. Okay. Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Depends on what it is. It's nice and simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple about them. But I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. It will work. Trust me. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And you and I never talked about this, all right? God, even the sky isn't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood of Steel? Where is she, though? Don't talk to me. Might attract someone's attention. No, seriously. You look tired. Need a room? No, not at the moment. Hmm. It's in here, I wonder. What? I'm curious. Sweet. Hmm. 
<laughs> Nothing going on here. Nothing at all. Nope. Not a single thing. I'm hidden. There's literally no way, no reason you should be able to see me. I mean, seriously. Even the dog's irritated. You've pissed off my dog. Are we going to do the Skyrim passive thing where you sit there and you yell about a thief and then... I walk outside and the guards come after me. What? What's going on here? What, what exactly is going on right now? Alone. Really? Swing for the fences, scabber! Really? <sighs> really? You gonna do me like this? Cause I'm not killing everybody in fucking Diamond City. I'm not doing it. What's this about? Oh, what's wrong? Hey there, not pal. Not so tough oh, once you're not on you. the air. You need... I, uh -huh. I don't... I'm sure. Come on, man. Take a... I, I, right. I, don't be such a coward. I'm not a... Oh. Okay. That's... Well... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. the sky enough. isn't safe. Did oh. you see that? Don't go running off. You see the Brotherhood of Steel? I said... I said that's enough. You understand? Leave me don't alone. go running off. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Oh, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? Blah, blah, blah. I'm wondering blah. what comes after that. Keeping what my eye do, on you. Man? I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Well, that's one down. Where'd the other guy go? Interesting. Travis, why am I doing this? Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. Don't need any. Ah, come on. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Security. Yeah. What? Busy. Uh, somebody killed him. That's not how things are supposed to go. Get lost. Hey, Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. Who shot him? Oh, well. In the future, never doubt me. Yeah, I guess not. But still, I, I mean... I never thought I could do that. I just never... I just never thought I had it in me. I... I need some time to think about this. Hey, Vadim. What the hell is wrong with you? You were supposed to help Travis in fight, not murder people in my bar. Why would you think this is okay? I'm not the one that shot him. Totally deserved it. Those guys were assholes. Of course they were assholes. That was whole point. <sighs> 
I will try and fix the situation which you have made messing up. I don't In even meantime, care. I need you to not kill anyone and help with rest. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Let's see her. Now, I, I, I am thought I saw her. Where'd she go? A simple bartender, but I Where's she things. going? I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know. Blah so blah that, blah. Mm -hmm. Apparent just uh -huh. you and Okay. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small bite. What? Oh. Suffering from slight bugginess. There we go. Okay. So apparently I can mouse outside of the screen while on a load screen in Fallout. You need something, Scaver? Which means it suffers the same bug as Skyrim. Which means I'm not amused. In the meantime, screw the rest of that quest. Have a conversation. For your opinion. Would be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. Huh? I will shoot you. Not with your son. What happened? <sighs> where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things... Considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Can I shoot her in the face? Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back <laughs> together again. Look. The sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. What? Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave yeah, old sins my... behind to remind us that I they're I think that was a headset there, bug, not a game to bug. To this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So... A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. You're still lucky I don't shoot you in the face. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. 
Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can I tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. That's Not basically us. nostalgia. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get the boy back. Just a few more steps. Reunions, born survivor, and some other achievement. Okay, what level am I? I am 13. Which means. That's right. Weapon upgrades. And by the way, at some point. You owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Oops. I actually want to go talk to her and tell her to fuck off. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You know what? Never mind. You know where to. I just want to shoot her. Does that make me a bad oh, person? Wow, you're tall. Jeez, lady. I, I like guns too, but you think you might be overcompensating there? No. Have you seen Super Ravens? I gotta be able to take their head off. I think your problem is you're not prepared enough. And then there's the matter of the Brotherhood of Steel, but. My question is, what should I do first? I want to do this whole memory den thing, and then then I think I'll move towards the Brotherhood of Steel and figure out what's going on there. Of which I may just blow them up to. It really depends. Head on inside. I'm just leaving, why would I head inside? <sighs> That looks really shoddy. Here I'm not going to lie. Groups are carving up concrete like Christmas I thought I uh, cleared out a lot of concrete. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't clear out enough. What? Why are you ahead of me, dog meat? What? What's going on there? Do, 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 I don't really like companions, though. Like, they're just kind of annoying. What is that? Is that the library right there? Or, yeah, the library. <sighs> I'm gonna have to deal with that, aren't I? Church! Church! Screw that. I don't even care what it's about now. What are you doing? There's gunshots back there. Don't think I want to know. Don't think I want to know at all. Now wait a second here. The Institute was the preservation of, like, knowledge of the pre-war and whatnot, right? But how do they know about the vault experiments. And I don't just mean like the vaults, because clearly everybody knew of the vaults. They were pretty publicly advertised. How do they know of the vault experiments? Oh god. I did not realize that was water. Well, it's pretty much liquid radiate. Whatever, dog mate. Whatever. What? Hear that? 
There we go. Okay. I'm gonna pop some right away in midair. Because I can. I made some more stim packs, and I also made. Uh, I combined buff out with mentats to make buff tats. Yeah, they're uh, they're okay. And as I said, I made more uh, stim packs. I made them using blood packs and whatever the other thing is that's required. I forget, but I made them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could you uh, fall over dead, please? Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to shoot him in the chest, but you know what? It worked. Okay. Look to be a bit okay, I think. Getting close. Uh Raider. Raider. Hey, where are you going? I missed. Is he actually going to be able to find his way to me? You know what? I'm just going to jump down. Hey, jerk! Yeah, about that. Could you, uh, shut up, please? You. Okay, all this Brotherhood of Steel noise is annoying. I can't get through here, can I? Well, I can come here. There's a raider over here somewhere. Shotgun shell. <laughs> Yeah, I knew I'd get a double round shotgun. Hello. bothered to mess with that. Nobody's here. Whew! Where'd you come from? sell it.
What's going on here? Where am I? I'm not a person. Actually, you know what? I'll take the squirrel bits too. Jet. Uh, jet mentats. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel are quite loud. What are they in combat with? Super mutants, maybe? I don't know, my frame rate is currently in the toilet. I think I will. A good neighbor. Okay, time to find this memory den. Then I'm gonna go figure out about the Brotherhood of Steel and see if I can't stop all the ambient noise. Because it's loud. Hey. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance, I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. I want it. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You're talking about you feel just me? a pretty great community. Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. You know what? So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah. Do you pay? Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. <laughs> Who? What are I've never you? Seen a robot like this. A woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Was that a pickup line? I've heard better. Now are you buying anything? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Really? Murder and mayhem at a discount. Uh Okay, cage armor? Got decent stats on it. Not gonna lie. Very tempting. And with that kind of stats on it, I can only assume it's a full armor. I have a sniper rifle, I don't need that. Party starter? It's a friggin' RPG! It is an RPG. Oh, actual laser rifle. Uh, I should really get a combat shotgun, but I can't really justify it. You know what? I need to do a little bit of math. Because math. That's, uh, what, 2427? 6737? What, 6737? Do I really have that much? 